<laughs> okay, so this is how Perlego's homepage looks like. Once you log in, here is the homepage. As you can see, I have the freedom to read all the books that are in here. I could simply click on one and I'll start reading. So it's really um, having access to my personal unlimited library. Uh, and something else is the fact that we offer a very personalized experience. So each user will have their own um, their own subscription to get a very unique experience for themselves. So as you can see on top, you have your recently read books. I could click here on continue reading and I will jump to the page where I left last time. Um, so this allows students and professors to have all the books for their semester here on top. They don't have to look for books every time. Uh, in terms of the type of content that we offer, as you can see, we have uh, core academic textbooks like economic development, respiratory medicine, so all the core titles that you will need for your courses. We work with over 2,000 different publishers, including Pearson, Wiley, uh, Cambridge University Press, Sage, so all the major ones as well. But as you can see, we also have self-development books, so all the books on leadership, on uh, habits of effective people. So all these other books that are more complementary reading and help prepare for the success after university. Um, also on the homepage, what you'll see is some trending books in different topics. So we're trying to push you um, the best content that we have on Perlego, always recommend new books. And then if we scroll down on the homepage, what you will see is also what we called uh, experts list. So what those lists are is they are a collection of books on a specific topic that they were recommended um, by some leaders in different fields. So, for example, if we open this one, this is a list that was given uh, to us by Andrew Lay. He's an expert uh, in the topic of leadership, and he recommended us what are some of the best books that he found on Perlego on the topic of leadership. So the, the good thing about those lists is that they give a good starting point for users if they want to know more about a specific topic. Because um, by having access to such a broad range of content on Perlego, it can be a bit overwhelming. So here you know what is a good starting point, you know where to start if you want to learn more about this. But something else is the fact that by having a list of different books on the same topic, you as a user, if you wanted to, you could open all of them. But the great thing is that you will find a book that fits with your learning style and learning preferences. As you all know, we all have different learning profiles. There are people that like books that are more um, analytic and go straight to the point, while other people prefer books that are more descriptive based on case studies. So on Perlego, you're not assigning books to students hoping that they will like it, but you're giving them the freedom to find books on the same topic, but different books that use different per, uh, perspectives and different um, styles. Uh, another great thing is that apart from the reading list that you have created, uh, that uh, we have created on Perlego, you can also create your own. So if we click on my library here in the corner, you are brought to your very personal space inside Perlego, where you will see the books you've started reading, your favorite books, your favorite lists. And then here you will see all the reading lists that you have created for yourself. So let me open this one as an example. The great thing about those lists uh, is that they can be very powerful for individual users if they want to organize their course material, but they're even more powerful because they can be shared. So the great thing is that they can be created by lecturers and professors they can create a list with all the course they need all the books they need for their courses as you can see if i click on edit list i can add a description to my list so say this list is relevant for students in their third year uh, module 1.1 i can add the books and for each book i can also add specific descriptions so focus on chapter four, six, and seven, uh, read this for the exam. So I can really guide my students to what is the best content that they should focus on. I could even change the order of the books so to push most relevant content on top. I can change it again. And the great thing is that if, if I send this link to my students or if I post it on my lecture slides, if I put it on uh, our LMS system, People clicking on it will get access to the same list I have created with all the annotations I've left for them. 
So especially now that we're working uh, and studying remotely, this is a great way to keep communication alive between faculty and students. And it's also a great way to promote students' engagement. So recently during uh, COVID challenges, we have partnered with a lot of universities and they have been really happy with the engagement that Perlego was able to bring. It's not only a platform, it's not only a book provider, but it's only a way to imp it's also a way to improve the experience that you're giving to your students and create this collaboration and communication between faculty and your students. Um, so yeah, and once again, this link is stable. So even if you as a lecturer add more books, uh, change the description, you don't have to send the link again. Students will always see the updated content that you create in the list.